10 Amazing Things You Did Before You Were Born The life of an embryo is way more exciting than you could possibly imagine. Whether it's thumb sucking or listening to your favorite tunes, there's so much fun going on in there. Hit the like button and get ready to find out more about your life in your mother's womb. 1. Tasting Food By week 9 in the womb, babies have developed a mouth, tongue, and small taste buds. They get the nutrition they need from amniotic fluid. The flavor of whatever mom is eating goes through her bloodstream right into that fluid. At week 15, babies can differentiate sweet flavors from salty ones and even start to develop a preference. So whenever mom is having a brownie or cupcakes, embryos swallow more amniotic fluid and enjoy dessert along with her. Whenever she's having garlic or ginger, known for their strong, bitter taste, the little ones swallow less fluid. What's even crazier, studies have proven that babies can develop a love for certain foods their mom ate a lot of during pregnancy. Now you know where your fondness of bacon most likely comes from. 2. Sucking a thumb At week 12 in your mom's belly, you started doing something pretty adorable. This is when you started sucking your thumb. Aww. Embryos do this for comfort and to explore their cool, newly accessible body parts. That's because at this time the arms become long enough to reach the mouth. Scientists say that flexing the hands, touching the face, and sucking the thumb are all signs of healthy development. Plus, parents get beyond excited when they see that on the ultrasound. 3. Dreaming and Yawning Babies in the womb have sleep cycles. Week 32 or even earlier is the time they go through their first REM cycle. In other words, they start dreaming just like we do. Some scientists question this since we can't monitor embryonic brainwaves just yet. However, most of them agree it's true, so I wonder what they dream about. Besides dreaming, embryos have also mastered yawning. It's not just cute, but also a sign that the baby is developing all right. Durham University psychologist Dr. Nadja Reisland believes yawning at this stage proves that the central nervous system is maturing as it should. Yawning could be the stimulus it needs to work properly. 4. Distinguishing Voices and Tunes If you ever ask a pregnant woman to talk to her baby bump, you might be surprised to see her belly react. Babies distinguish and love hearing their mom's voice before they're even born. Research has shown that language and communication skills actually start developing in the womb. It doesn't only work with mom's voice. If you play the same tune to an unborn baby, it'll be able to recognize the song a few weeks after birth. There was even an experiment conducted to prove this. Moms to be played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star loudly during their final trimester of pregnancy. A few days after the babies were born, scientists played the same tune and studied the newborn's brain activity. They were definitely excited to hear the familiar song again. More than that, the little ones could feel it when some notes were replaced with others. It's called pre-conscious learning. And it's pretty awesome, right? 5. Crying A phenomenon known as silent crying develops in embryos at 28 weeks. Researchers discovered this after stimulating babies with a low decibel noise and recording the reaction on an ultrasound. The scientists were even able to notice the baby's bottom lips tremble. Silent crying is a way for them to express sadness over something negative that's happened to them. And what could that possibly be? Well, babies are not only physically connected to their moms, but also emotionally. A group of pregnant women in Australia watched a sad movie for 20 minutes, and their sadness was felt by their babies. Embryos can also get scared when mom sneezes or a dog is barking somewhere nearby. Before you feel too bad for these unborn babies, note that crying is an important tool for communication they'll need when they enter the world. And just think of how advanced the brain must be at that stage to be able to receive a distressing signal, recognize it, and give the right response to it. 6. Peeing This one is kinda gross, but still really interesting. How do they do it, and where does the urine go? I hate to break it to you, but it actually stays right there in the womb. 
so we were all floating in our own urine once upon a time. And there's no shame in it. The production of urine starts by the end of the first trimester and is a good sign that the kidneys are working properly. Babies swallow the amniotic fluid, digest it, and then it passes through the kidneys and right into the uterus. They actually urinate every 45 minutes. It has no smell and it's sterile, so it's not as gross as it sounds. 7. Pooping before you get totally disgusted by this one, let me clear it up. Not all babies actually defecate in the womb, but we all do accumulate stuff that could be considered embryonic poop. We already know that we feed on nutrients and oxygen before we come into the world. It's mostly filtered by the placenta and goes back to mom for her to get rid of. What stays in the womb is mucus, bile, some body hair, and intestinal cells. This all turns into something called meconium, a green, sticky, sterile substance that's the first official poop of your life. Babies that are overdue or had some stress in mom's belly can actually poop before they're born, but it's uncommon. According to a report at the University of California, San Francisco, doctors find traces of meconium in the amniotic fluid in 10 to 20% of all deliveries. 8. Breathing Underwater you probably can't hold your breath underwater for more than a few seconds now, but as an embryo, you kinda used to breathe underwater. At 27 weeks in the womb, a baby's lungs start expanding and compressing as the diaphragm and chest muscles start contracting in rhythm. It's called practice breathing since it doesn't involve oxygen. But admit it, it's pretty cool that all this is going on inside a bag of amniotic fluid. This breathing practice is important because it prepares the baby for the real thing outside the womb. 9. Getting the Hiccups In the sixth month of pregnancy, embryos give their mothers a fun time when they start getting hiccups that make the belly jump up. Not all babies get them, but most do a few times a day. Many doctors believe hiccups are a sign of healthy lung development. They should stop or become much less frequent by week 32 of pregnancy. 10. Smiling Let's finish the list with something we all love to see, a big happy smile. Babies practice smiling, along with other facial expressions, inside the womb. Scientists used to believe we learned to smile from our mothers after we're born. But with today's highly developed medical equipment, like 4D scanners, we now know that smiling is a reflex we have before birth that prepares us for the real thing after we're born. Which of these facts do you think is the craziest? Let's discuss it in the comments section. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it fun. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe if you want to be the first to get our cool updates. Stay with us on the Bright Side of Life!